Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to go ahead and talk to all of you about the CSAT paper, how to prepare for it, how to strategize for it, how to practice for it, how to dedicate time for it in the overall schedule of UPSC that you have and how to take out that fear out of your mind of CSAT which resides in the minds of a lot of lot of students, lot of aspirants who always think that this is actually a tough paper. To be honest, if you do a very, very simple analysis of the overall CSAT paper, you will see that it is actually, with a little bit of practice, with a little bit of devoting your time, it is actually the easiest paper in the entire UPSC uh, papers, whether it is GS, whether it is mains, whether it is essay, whether it is your optional. Why am I saying that? I am saying that because you get a total of two hours to solve the UPSC CSAT paper. So two hours is almost 120 minutes. In this 120 minutes, you have to solve 80 questions. But if you look at the number of marks you require for qualifying, that is 33%. So if you do simple math, basically out of those 80 questions, you need 27 questions. Because if you get 27 questions correct, you will get around 67 and a half marks. Because every question is of two and a half marks. Now, so if you get 27 questions out of 80 questions correct, you are going to get 67.5 marks and you are going to qualify for the CSAT paper. And how much time do you have to get those 27 questions correct? Well, you have 120 minutes. That means you have almost 4.4 minutes. Almost, let's say, take out the 40 seconds, you have almost 4 minutes to solve each and every question that needs you to get through the borderline that needs you to get through the finishing line of qualifying for UPSC. So, do I think that aspirant, anyone watching this video is not capable of doing 27 questions in 4 minutes? I don't think so. I think every one of you is definitely, definitely has that capacity, capacity that in 20, in um, almost 2 hours you can do 27 to 30 questions, 35 questions easily and cross on the other side and be easily done with the exam. But the problem that is, there are various reasons why students are not even able to qualify for this, 20, not able to even do this 27 questions and qualify for this exam. So what are the steps you need to follow? I will talk to you one by one so that you get an understanding on how you can easily get these 27 questions done. Okay. So the first one, the first is going to be, I'm going to talk about the overall strategy, how you should dedicate your time, how should you plan your studies for CSAT. See, first of all, it is very important that you take out a decent amount of time to study for CSAT. Normally, CSAT is ignored. Normally, it is given just one hour, half an hour, two hours, you know, daily preparation. That too, let's say, you know, you decide that, okay, I'll do in the morning, I will do one hour of studies of CSAT. I will solve some questions and I'm done. That is not the way to study for CSAT. You have to properly strategize. You have to know what are the different topics from which questions are coming. So in CSAT, if you look at the overall syllabus, the questions are coming from verbal, re verbal reasoning. Okay, they are coming from overall reading comprehension. So the uh, UPSC gives these paragraphs, these comprehensions you have to study and you have to then solve questions. It is given in English and Hindi. So it is not a test of English because it is also given in Hindi. It is really a test of how you can critically read through it and identify what UPSC is trying to ask you. And that requires practice. It does not require you to completely understand the English language. It requires more practice. So don't fear it. Don't fear the fact that it is in English, so I will not be able to do it. If you practice enough, if you put your mind to it, it is more about critical thinking. It is more about figuring out the right facts, figuring out the right things, and then answering the question. Okay? So that is the number one thing. You have to take out the fear from your mind. It is not that you are lack in English language will completely, you know, destroy your chances of getting these questions right. That is not true. So, that is the part about verbal reasoning. Then the other part, which has a lot of questions, is the logical reasoning and the maths, so-called maths part. But it's not, not really maths, it's more of kind of like quant questions. You know, questions based on number-based problems, then questions are based on permutation and combination, ratios and proportions, syllogism, then sequence, 
speed and distance so these are not your classic math you know these are not your calculus questions these are questions that are very much doable if you just identify the topics and study them one by one and know what are the different techniques that require you require to solve these kind of questions so this understanding of concepts of mathematics i don't consider it mathematics i think it's more sort of related to your critical thinking and logical reasoning so if you do these topics you can easily definitely go ahead and answer these questions and the third kind of questions are the logical reasoning questions purely logical reasoning which are based on some kind of a sequence uh, which are based on just you identifying the pattern identifying some sort of a sequence identifying some sort of a you know gap so these kind of questions are very much the easiest part of this entire paper because there are questions that are repeating almost year after year not questions but more like concepts and if you understand you make a list of these concepts study those concepts you can definitely qualify for this paper all right so now overall what happens is normally csat is ignored by a lot of students when they are starting to prepare for upsc because they are busy in looking at optional kya choose karna hai they are busy in looking at okay i need to do uh you know current affairs so i need to study this particular magazine that particular newspaper so you ignore csat completely but csat requires you to sit down plan for it write down all these topics so you should have a sheet of paper like this where you are writing all the different topics that are coming in upsc for csat paper and one by one you are getting these topics covered and then you should also have a formula sheet because some questions require formulas so you should ha also have a couple of sheets where all these formulas that of, of the concepts that have had have come before so that you can revise these formulas when you get the time between the papers in the actual upsc day okay so now coming back first of all how much time do you need to take out for your for preparing for the csat exam i believe that every day you should study csat till you start feeling comfortable and then you can kind of come back to it later so for example let's say your upsc preparation is starting today you are starting polity or economics or environment or whatever what you should do is you should take out one hour every day after the lunch break to study for csat why am i saying after the lunch break because this is the time when you are little bit tired and i want you to study for csat when you are a little bit tired because you will be writing the csat paper in the second half of the actual exam day in upsc so you will already be a little tired so you prepare as per the exam day requirement all right so every day prepare for one or two hours for if you do it for around 15 to 20 days you will be all set in understanding the overall pattern of the csat paper you will know exactly where what are the topics you need to focus on and what are the topics that are naturally coming to you and whatever topics you are naturally good at those you can practice more and more and then uh, the topics you are not naturally good at you can go back to them and understand the concepts and then you can come back and practice them so i will give you my examples so when i was studying for csat i was not very good at some mathematics parts but i was really good at the comprehension part verbal reasoning part and the logical thinking part so what i did was i uh, went one by one topic by topic and i solved these topics and then i knew okay in this topic i am good i solved last 10 years papers of those topics where i was good at and then if i was getting above 60 70% marks i said okay i am well prepared for these i just need to continue this practice when the exam is close by of these topics so i left it to the last two months of the uh, before the prelims so i went back to these papers and i did lot of practice papers or in those particular topics but the topics i found hard i knew these topics i have to practice i have to revisit the concepts then i dedicated more time for them every day one or two hours continuously for 10 15 days 20 days and then i got those topics done out of the way i studied them properly then i practiced them more and that way my time management really paid off okay because you have to understand your strengths and weaknesses and if your strengths wherever your strengths are you just need to practice a little bit so that you can get those right see at the end of the day it is really a paper of not of your aptitude but of your ability 
of your ability to figure out the right strategy for you because there are questions you will have to skip in this paper and there are questions which you will easily get and that is the technique if you easily the 20 25 questions you will easily get those questions you get them done in the first round okay so i will talk more about that now let's talk about how you can overall plan your studies for the csat first of all like i said dedicate set days for your csat topics divide them okay this is verbal reasoning this is uh, quantitative this is maths questions this is logical reasoning questions this is what i am good at and this is what i need to practice a little bit and i will be fine and this is what is i find hard so i need to revisit this concepts now what are the sources literally go and go ahead and on youtube search for csat and you will get so many good sources there are actually good teachers for csat across different websites like an academy also vision also ed sarthi you know all these different kind of different channels are there study iq who have provided csat so what are the good sources for upsc csat there are many sources if you literally go and youtube search for csat you will find a lot of classes proper playlists of 50 60 videos of different coaching institutes where they are teaching you entire concepts topic wise of csat go ahead and choose any one of them which you like i feel most of them are pretty good some of them might not be that good whatever you like spend a few you know one or two days in figuring out which ones you like and just go through them because you know see every educator every teacher is not going to go be good at every topic some teachers are going to be good at verbal reasoning some teachers are going to go not be good at uh, the maths part or the quantitative reasoning part so choose and pick which ones you like and make notes of it make the notes of how they are teaching you concepts and then make a note of this cheat sheet or the formula sheet from where you can eventually revise all right and after that it is all about you questioning last 10 year papers if you can practice well you are pretty much done and do some of the questions that are provided by these educators the homeworks provided by these educators that will be enough for you for source wise as far as upsc csat is concerned okay now for each of the topic learn the fundamentals it is very important that you learn the concept the actual fundamental behind it don't go try to rush into the actual solution finding the solution try to learn the steps how to solve that particular kind of question try to understand the concept for example if there is a question coming about let's say you know they give you cubes and you have to figure out which piece of the cube is missing you know like these kind of questions come these questions are pattern and logic based question questions they don't require you to learn some kind of formula that you can solve through practice and through log through your pure logic common sense but for that you will need practice so learn the steps and learn the do the a lot of practice that is how you will get the solution correct don't focus on the solution ki iska solution kaise nikalna hai wo steps pe focus karo ki mere ko step follow karna hai then only you will get these questions correct okay so the, learn the techniques behind these questions then practice number 3 is practice practice the question concepts asked not just the questions asked okay if there is a question, particular concept of let's say number based problem is there or there is a concept of let's say sequences or speed and distance that question can be twisted and it's still the same concept but if you know the concept you can still get the answer right but if you try to solve the question if you try to practice the question then you are not going to get it right okay so do a lot of practice of concepts not just the questions and then finally it is also important that uh, you realize that a lot of concepts are repeated year after year csat to be honest this csat paper has concepts that have been repeated for the last 20 25 years in various different kind of exams where csat type of questions are asked so this is nothing new if you practice enough you will find it very very familiar okay uh, and so this is how overall you study and dedicate your time for studying for the csat paper now the other thing is very important is how you devise the actual paper strategy when you walk in into the paper how are you going to solve these papers so there is a very uh, important technique that i use both for csat and the gs which is known as running technique through the paper running through the paper or flipping through the paper you have the paper in front of you 
you have to read the question in 20 seconds you have to identify whether this is easy question for you whether you can solve it if yes you solve it mark the answer move ahead if not skip the question go to the next question you run through the paper and this way the easiest 20 to 25 questions you will get correct if you have practiced correctly there are 20 to 25 easy questions now i am talking about csat only the not the comp reading comprehension part see reading comprehension part there are proper paragraphs which you have to read they will take time to read and then you can get them right so this does not apply to that part this only applies to the the logical reasoning questions etc maths questions where you quickly read the question and in the first instance you will know okay i know the techniques behind this question i can solve it and you solve it if you are running over time if you are running too much taking too much time in solving that question or if it is something not familiar to you completely skip it because there is no point of wasting time it is all about time management what happens is csat paper always they surprise you and they throw people off so people end up wasting their time on some questions because why because aapki as an aspirant your ego comes in between your ego as an aspirant that i have practiced so much i know this question i will solve it put this ego aside be strategic this is a war this is a battle you are fighting you have to be tactical and strategic at the same time ki kahan pe kaun sa question mere ko skip karna hai kahan pe kaun sa solve karna hai that you have to know so you know you need only 27 questions to pass this exam so why do you have to get every question right there are at least 35 questions trust me that upsc has put there for you to qualify for this exam but it is about you identifying those 35 questions that is the that is your job if you are going to become nervous there if you are going to get stuck on one question you will waste all your time so in 120 minutes the first 30 minutes 30 35 minutes run through the entire paper and easily you will be able to solve at least 15 to 20 questions because one one minute mein you will solve these easy questions one one minute so in 30 minutes you will be easily be able to solve at least 20 to 25 questions trust me okay and once you are done with these easy part questions then you are coming to the more medium ones and then in the second run this running technique in the second flipping technique running technique you go through another 30 40 questions that you find easier on the easy matlab medium size medium uh, uh, on the medium uh, difficulty level and that will take you another maybe 60 minutes or so so you go through these medium level questions and you will get at least out of 50 these medium level question uh, out of these um, let's say 50 questions overall whatever is left out of that at least there will be 10 to 15 questions medium level questions that you will get correct and then you have easily made it to this 30 35 question range you want to be at above 27 questions and then there is comprehension questions comprehension questions if you practice correct at least there you will get 10 15 questions correct so you will you can easily go over 40 correct answers if you follow this techniques out of the 80 questions the easy ones target them once at least 20 to 25 are easy then after that another 15 you will get from different parts and then you can skip a lot of questions because you don't want negative marking you can skip a lot of questions that you know you're not going to get them right this is how you strategically think about the csat exam now uh, <coughs> important thing is you don't spend too much time on one question okay if you are spending more than 2 3 minutes on a question that means something wrong is going on because it should on on a normal basis it should not take more than 3 minutes to solve so have the watch practice use the watch to practice you will also figure out that okay these questions are taking me less time these concepts are taking me less time so if when i'm flipping through the paper when i'm running through the paper when i identify this question is asked this concept is asked i should be able to answer it so that will also help you so this kind of practice you have to do it is all about practice strategy practice strategy practice strategy practice now the other thing is one interesting thing is it is always good to mix up the paper answer some comprehension questions english questions answer some maths questions quant questions logical reasoning because your brain will be feeling more refreshed and it will be more attentive so mix up questions that will help you okay now finally about the fear of csat even iit iim people fear csat 
but that doesn't mean that you can't uh, qualify for this paper. Why? Because these IIT IIM people fail. Why? Because they are not practicing properly. They are wasting their time. They are becoming overconfident. They are not strategizing correctly. You strategize correctly. It doesn't matter. If you strategize correctly, you will still pass it. You are the underdog. You are someone coming from a normal college. But that does, the, that, does that mean that you don't have the ability? You have the ability. It is a test of ability. It is not a test of your aptitude. Your aptitude is, is tested on the field when you are an officer. A lot of officers do well, a lot of officers don't. But right now, this is the test of how you strategize, how you practice, how you are able to handle the pressure. Handle the pressure that is suddenly you see very difficult questions. Do you give up? No, you go, you go through the paper quickly and you will find the easier questions that are put by UPSC there for you to qualify. Every year some hard questions come, every year students make a lot of noise, a lot of aspirants make a lot of noise. Ki UPSC is being unfair, they are asking out of the syllabus questions. It is a competitive exam, what do you expect? Are you going to get it served on a platter? That ye questions le lo, ab ye solve kar do, ye because aapko aate hain. Aise nahi hota. They are mixing it up for you because they want you to be able to strategize also. If you are not able to strategize there, that means you are not having the ability to differentiate between how you can move forward in this paper. Alright? So that is very, very important. So now hopefully this particular strategy will help you. I have covered everything I have covered, what steps you need to follow, sources, actual paper strategy and the fear, how to get out of this fear mindset. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer them. Take care. Bye-bye.